السلام علیکم میرا نام محمد عمیر شریف ہے اور جیسا کہ آپ کو پتا ہے کہ میں ویڈیوز بناتا ہوں ڈفرینٹ ہیلتھ کیئر ریلیٹڈ ڈسپلنس کے ہاؤ یو کین گیٹ رجسٹرڈ ود کاؤنسلس ان دا یو کے اینڈ ہاؤ یو کین گیٹ اے جاب ان دا یو کے اینڈ ہاؤ یو کین پرپیئر یور سیلف فار انٹرویوز اینڈ واٹ کائنڈ آف کویشچن نارملی آسٹ ان دا انٹرویوز سو ایف یو آر ریلیٹڈ ٹو اینی آف دا میڈیکل ڈسپلنس this is the right place for you to get the guidance right so in this video i have a special guest with me mr adam ahmed uh, we know each other since 5 6 years and uh, in university and he was one of the brilliant students in the university his last research project was on examining the bacterial behaviors and survival with subject to various environmental conditions and He is the specialist, multidisciplinary biomedical scientist and he has a vast experience in all of the disciplines in the biomedical sciences. If you talk about the molecular biology, he has been working in the Scottish microbiology laboratories and um, even if you talk about the blood sciences, he has been uh, working in uh, transfusion and he has a specialist in uh, biochemistry as well so i thought he would be the best person to advise us on how you can get involved uh, and prepare yourself for interviews so we're going to talk about basically two things in this video one is going to be the tips we can get it from the hadam and uh, like how you can prepare yourself and how you can present yourself in the interview and second topic would be the, what kind of questions normally being asked in the interviews most of the time so hope so this good video would be very helpful for you guys so let's move on to the adam and welcome adam to in the video thank you so much for your time and it's a pleasure to have you in my video i hope this gonna be really helpful for my audience to to prepare yourself for interviews to uh, get a tips from from such a great and uh, brilliant guy in here thank you so much yeah thanks very much omar um thank you very much for having me here today um it's a real pleasure um to give your audience some guidance around um interview preparation when applying to um biomedical scientist positions right. within the UK whether it's in England or whether it's in Scotland okay thank you so much once again okay let's start with the first um topic what kind of tips or suggestions would you like to give my audience like how they can prepare yourself yeah. for interview and how they can uh, perform well during the interview So the first thing that I would say um to the audience is that you know you should completely stay try and stay anxiety free and um try not to over prepare yourself because this can um cause stress and anxiety throughout the interview the last thing you want is um you know your stress and anxiety to hit during an interview and you during the interview so you want the interview to be conducted naturally as possible um from your own natural words from your sentences um and give it give a natural answer to the interviewer and i'm not saying that don't prepare for 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 the potential questions yes prepare but don't go around and start you know writing the answers 10 or 15 or 20 times to try and memorize the answer because it's not going to work i've tried it myself personally in the past when i finished university and i am um, done various interviews in various disciplines and i wasn't getting the positions that i desired uh, or wanted is because i you know i later found out i was over preparing and getting stressed and bogged down um you know and and just messing up the interview and giving just um the wrong answers so when i change my approach to um a more relaxed state and a more you know in one of the interviews i remember that i 
I just done a, I, I just prepared superficially. I looked over my notes mm. and I went into the interview um, without any memorization right. and basically I gave each an individual answer with a natural response, you know, as one would do without memorization, etc. So a lot of people, um, you know, before going to an interview, um, mm -hmm. they, they try and memorize answers and how they're going to respond. And I think personally speaking, a natural response is the ultimate success. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, go ahead. So, आप ये कहना चाह रहे हैं कि आप इंटरव्यू के लिए प्रिपेयर करें अपने आप को बर ये ना करें कि आप इंटरव्यू में जो जाना है उससे पहले आप अपनी एवरीथिंग वो राइट करें और उसको रट्टा मारें और उसको याद करने लग जाएं बस बी नेचुरल और एक आइडिया लें इंटरव्यू का या या ठीक है मैं थोड़ा सा उर्दू में बता देता हूँ माई उर्दू इज नॉट द बेस्ट बट आप नेचुरल अप्रोच लें आप you know anxiety free ho aap or you know and just like jo bhi interviewer aapko question puchenge usi hisab se aapne natural ka you want to give a calm response a calm relaxed response to the interviewer you know these of course you know these can be anxious times and stressful times but you really want to show your confidence to the interviewer that you're a confident person mm. you're a reliable person and you know it's all about showing your confidence enthusiasm and you're a team player um just think about you know being a successful scientist throughout the interview and um it should be fine so basically what how should it interview look like like it should be a conversation style it should yeah. be a like proper uh, interview like you should present you like i'm going for interview or you should be relaxed or it, it should be a well, conversation or yeah well of course like when going into an interview first of all the appearance is mm -hmm. what matters uh, right. firstly um, obviously um you should be smart dressed in any sort of interview whether it's in the healthcare profession or not um so presentation is really really key and then we come on to obviously before presentation is your preparation so your superficial preparation and then your presentation and then really you want to assess the situation um, whether the interviewer wants to make it a very very formal process mm -hmm. whereas there is some people some interviewers that um say to the candidate that this is just we just want to keep this very informal right and um you know you don't you don't need just stay relaxed mm. and um just if we'll take it easy i'll just ask you a couple of questions some interviews can be very very formal mm. but the candidate should always be in a relaxed state of mind and as i said before anxiety free stress free and do not as i said over don't do not over prepare yourself so that means it's completely depend on the the person who is being interviewed like how they wanna make their interview if they wanted to make a formal or they wanted to make a like casual interview yeah yeah so it depends on the candidate it, it, it depends on the candidate as well as the um as well as the interviewer as well um but I, you you just want a happy medium hmm. um you know you don't want to you want, you don't want to be very informal and very you know very relaxed where you're slouching off your seat or mm -hmm. you know you're not sitting straight or anything like that you don't want that to happen but you want to have a happy medium mm -hmm. um you know as i said to you presentation and you know be confident or ye kitna important hai interview success hona is base pe ki aap confident hai ya nahi confident aur interview ko एक कन्वर्सेशन स्टाइल में लेके चल रहे हैं या एक आप फॉर्मल इंटरव्यू में प्रेजेंट हो रहे हैं और बड़े कॉन्शियस होके हो रहे हैं ये चीजें कितनी मैटर करती हैं एक कैंडिडेट के सक्सेसफुल होने में एक इंटरव्यू में सॉरी रिपीट द क्वेश्चन फॉर मी सो हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज फॉर अ कैंडिडेट व्हाइल अपीयरिंग इन इंटरव्यू दैट दे शुड मेक अ इंटरव्यू इन अ कन्वर्सेशन स्टाइल और इन अ कैजुअल स्टाइल एंड डज इट अफेक्ट द इंटरव्यू वेल सक्सेसफुल रेट well i think being number one being confident is mm -hmm. is really really key 
Um, you don't want to show that you're overconfident um, because you, you know they want to see that you you are a team player. You're you're going to fit into the team, and you're going to be you know a friendly person, approachable person. Mm -hmm. So number one is confident. At the same time, you know as I said to you before, is is stay relaxed and obviously be cautious of. It is an interview mm -hmm. process. It is part of getting. Um, the job at the end of the day and what I, I know many people that have you know failed interviews and feedback is really really key as well because throughout this process whatever goes on in this interview at the end of the interview the feedback is really really critical and crucial um, because this is what you're going to implement into your next hmm. interview so feedback um is 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 really really key. मतलब कि जो भी आपको वो इंटरव्यू कहेंगे, फीड फीडबैक आपको देंगे, तो वो ही मैटर करता है ना कि how you will improve yourself. यानी आपने एक इंटरव्यू दे दिया, in case it was successful नहीं हुआ, तो उनसे आप फीडबैक लें, जो फीडबैक आपको हेल्पफुल करेगा नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यूज में. Yeah yeah. As I said to you before, you know, I failed um three or four interviews when I finished university. But I took their feedback on board, and um, again I didn't over prepare. I superficially prepared myself, and mm. um, I I went into the interview with a relaxed state of mind. And during that, um, I remember during that week I had three interviews, and I I was successful in three all of the three interviews in transfusion. One as a multidisciplinary um, department, and also in biochemistry. Um, and and this was all in one week mm -hmm. because I went into the interview with a relaxed state of mind, right. with um, you know, with enough preparation that can get me through the interview. And inshallah, it should be fine. So, this means that this is a normal thing that when you are in interview, you are rejected. It is not that all the interviews have been successful. तो आप भी रिजेक्ट ये नहीं कि सिर्फ इंटरनेशनल जो कैंडिडेट्स हैं वही रिजेक्ट होते हैं क्योंकि बहुत सारे इंटरनेशनल जो कैंडिडेट्स हैं ना वो कांटेक्ट करते हैं मुझसे और कहते हैं कि हम इंटरव्यू में सक्सेसफुल नहीं हो रहे और और वो समझते हैं कि शायद इंटरनेशनल होने की वजह से उनको जो शॉर्ट नहीं किया जाता या इंटरव्यू में उनको सक्सेसफुल नहीं किया जाता नहीं बिल्कुल मैंने मतलब कि आपको बताया भी था कि बनाई जब मैंने यूनिवर्सिटी ख़त्म किया था B.Sc. ख़त्म की थी और अप्लाई की थी। The first four or five interviews I I wasn't successful। मतलब कि इंटरव्यू तो आते रहे थे और जब when I went for the interview तो I was I was only successful। But the main thing is do not take it um to heart। Do not मतलब कि दिल में नहीं लेके जाना कि यार मुझे ये यानि परेशान नहीं होना आपने परेशान नहीं होना आपने कि or um, that I got an interview, I got a job, job because mm -hmm. that's normal, um, you know. And I think I've done about five interviews. Even though before you gave an interview, you also had an experience in the experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you, you came in, experience transfusion in the hematology transfusion, in the hematology transfusion, you didn't have an interview. So, it doesn't mean that you have to say, इंटरव्यू में सक्सेस नहीं हो रहे सक्सेस नहीं मिल रही इंटरव्यू में तो इसमें वो आपको सिलेक्ट नहीं करना चाह रहे ये नॉर्मल है जो जो ब्रिटिश हैं जो स्कॉटिश हैं या ब्रिटिश बोर्न हैं उनके साथ भी होता है वो भी रिजेक्ट होते हैं सो दिस इज अ नॉर्मल थिंग सो दैट्स अ कंप्लीटली नॉर्मल थिंग एज अ सेंड इट्स 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 अ नॉर्मल प्रोसेस एम इट्स अ लर्निंग कर्व यू नो दिस इज अ लर्निंग कर्व इट्स अ इट्स अ ऑपरचुनिटी टू लर्न about yourself, about your weaknesses, about your strengths, mm -hmm. because the interviewer will tell you what you could have improved on, mm -hmm. and they will give you feedback, so it's really, really important that you take this feedback on board, and, and you know, and implement it into your next interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the first thing. Second thing is, um, that you know, and implement it into your next interview. And I have told you that in a couple of interviews, you know, I didn't get, and then in one week, when mm -hmm. I changed my approach, I got three interviews, three jobs in a row um, within the same week. I done three interviews and um, 
you know, they offered me the job in three different disciplines. And it's totally down to because I changed my approach. Mm -hmm. It's about, you know, having a relaxed mindset and, um, you know, being confident and, and, and act like a team player. This is related to a question that sometimes some people send messages that we are not even interview for the interview. So what can happen to that? Why don't you interview for the interview? Or why don't you do the right job for the application? Or why don't you apply for the wrong job? I mean to say that if you have experience in biochemistry and you have a post in hematology, then you are applying for that. So what reason can happen? What can happen? And if you have a background in biochemistry, you have experience in that. And you want to apply for the hematology post in hematology. तो उसमें आप किस तरह एप्लीकेशन को अपने को बेटर कर सकते हैं? एम सो नॉर्मली इन एन एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस वो तीन क्वेश्चंस होते हैं एप्लीकेशंस एप्लीकेशन में तो एक तो तीन टाइप के क्वेश्चन तीन तीन टाइप के क्वेश्चन होते हैं कि एम वुड यू लाइक टू एम वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस कैन बी वुड यू लाइक टू � and some of your experience and this is not a space to you know write a full essay because mm -hmm. i you know a few of my friends or people that i know mm -hmm. write too much in in in, in the space it's in the in the job experience in the job experience section so it's really important to be very very concise and straight to the point mm -hmm. this is what they want to see straight to the point and there's no I mean, that you don't have to talk about it here and there. Straight point. Straight to the point. This is the experience I have. This is the hospitals I worked in. I have knowledge of these analyzers or these hematology analyzers or biochemistry or whatever discipline it is. And this is what they want to see. And then the other question is that what do you, for example, what do you know about can you explain some of the NHSCs, if it's an NHS post that you're applying for, can mm -hmm. you explain some of the NHSC's core values? And some of these core values are being respectful, trustworthy, um, you know, it's all about integrity um, and being um, respectful to patients and um, patients and colleagues, etc. So it's really, and, and one advice I would say to you is whatever, hospital you are applying to or whatever trust you're applying to is go on to their website website for java with this information low key trust key core values kya hai to core core values ko lekar matlab ki uska answer banao aap like how you relate to these core values and because this is really what they want to see um that you have researched about the trust you know about the trust and um, is something that I would really advise mm -hmm. advise to do. And the third question is normally about... Yeah, yeah. I will interrupt you. So before going on questions, I want to ask another question. How should a, a candidate answer the question? Like, what approach should adopt a, a candidate to answer yeah. during the interview? So one of the approaches that I personally take is the STAR method, um, a lot is, of... Sorry, STAR method. STAR method, yeah, right. S-T-A-R. Um, and whatever the question, whatever the question will be, mm -hmm. um, you, asset, you, you give the answer with um, five situations. So STAR, um, S for situation. Right. So you're giving the situation. Then you are telling the interviewer about the task and then you are giving the interviewer the action mm. and the result right so so it's four is four four um so approach the question so understand the question take your time when to make an answer in your head to make to, to make the answer in your head and so is it normal to take a like few seconds before answering the question to in an interview yeah. take your time take your time aram say up जल्दी करने की जरूरत नहीं है। जल्दी करने की जरूरत नहीं है। That that's the one thing that I would definitely say as well. Do not rush the interview, because as I said to you before, when you are in a relaxed state of mind, 
you will not want to rush anyway sahi hai you know to jab aap relax state of mind mein honge to interview to khud hi aap ki wait karenge aur you know kya answer complete kare you you will complete your answer and a long answer is never the, the interview will not get frustrated or anything like that Mm-hmm. Um, but what you want to be doing is be very very concise and con- and solid give a give a solid answer mm. um, just make it like compose and concise answer yeah. don't go over like yeah idhar udhar ki baatein na nahi honi chahiye normal baatein kare normal jo jo baat unki samajh mein aaye ki ha ji ye normal baat hai routine ki baat hai is pe jo hai na question ke related banda yeah. ये ना सवाल गंदम जवाब चाहिए हो ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए या 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 सही तो एम बिकॉज़ इन द पास्ट आई हैव हेल्प यू नो वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स एज़ वेल इन 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 इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन एंड इवन दो आई गॉट हेल्प फ्रॉम यू बिफोर माय इंटरव्यूज यू नो या एम एंड वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स व्हाट शी वाज सेइंग शी 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 गिव मी एन आंसर अ फुल पेज आंसर फॉर वन क्वेश्चन राइट एंड आई लिटरली took all the the irrelevant information out mm-hmm. and just a few sentences right four three or four sentences um that particular interview that she went for she got the job as well oh that's um, great because um um she 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 prepared well and um again she took on board the advice that I was giving her mm mm-hmm. ek aur jo most important cheez hai ki aapne jab job application fill out karte hain उसमें स्पोर्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन होती है हाउ यू कैन राइट अ स्पोर्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन इन एप्लीकेशन अच्छा ना स्पोर्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन हाउ सो व्हाट आर द थिंग्स यू शुड मेंशन बिकॉज़ सम टाइम व्हाट पीपल डू इज दे दे टेक द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम देयर एक्सपीरियंस एंड दे राइट इट डाउन द सेम थिंग इन द स्पोर्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड सम टाइम आई सीन अ स्पोर्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन इज लाइक टू और थ्री पेजेस लॉन्ग स्पोर्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन या How so what's your take on this so thing? you don't want to be repetitive on an application form you want to be um you know as i said to you before you want to give them the relevant experience for example in your employment section of an application form mm-hmm. you will give you will already give them your experience experience where yes. you have what takes etc so yeah that's the main yeah. question what so should you write in the supporting in the supporting information i as i said to you before is um you want to give them the analyzers you have worked with the analyzers you have worked with any um anything any extra responsibilities you have taken within your job role mm-hmm. um that's that, that can be classed as supporting information and personally speaking i have always talked about the analyzers that i worked with or um you know some of the clinical knowledge that i am aware of and in the policies policies can we uh, talk about the skills or uh, you yeah. know rather than the we are repeating the ex- experience and things we have yeah. worked on yeah and skills are really really key as well um you know for example your team management skills mm-hmm. so you, you can, can talk about you that you can you can talk about that your organizational skills your communication skills multitasking quality and these are all skills so but how, don't just list them but how you can you can write it in the sporting information about these skills can we just simply write it like i have my multidisciplinary uh, scientist or i'm a hard worker or you have to present it in a way that you are you gone through this situation and you built this skill during that period yeah so you always want to say that you're building on skills mm-hmm. you have so, learned, I mean, so 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 for example you have learned skills from one area Mm-hmm. and you've also built it build upon these skills um and these and 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 the idea you know no one is perfect mm-hmm. so even myself i'm still learning i'm still building my skills i'm mm-hmm. still learning new skills um so it's really key to give them an example examples as well of these key skills that mm-hmm. um that that are really really critical matlab ye ke aap अपने जॉब एक्सपीरियंस को इस तरह मेंशन करेंगे स्पोर्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन में कि आप ये बताएं कि इस जॉब में मैंने ये स्किल डेवलप की यस yes. और ये स्किल डेवलप की और उसमें एग्जांपल दें हां एग्जांपल दें कि ये एग्जांपल मतलब ये इशू हुआ था और इसमें मैंने ये सीखा और ये स्किल डेवलप yeah. की है या या एब्सोल्युटली 
And also, um, as I said to you about the NHS's core values, well, we'll be back to us like the NHS yeah. core values. Yeah, yeah. NHS core values can be bad cars like the um, anything that you feel that is relevant, you know, there's no right or wrong answer mm-hmm. in a supporting in a, in a supporting information section. Na galt baat ho sakti hai na matlab ki correct baat ho sakti hai matlab ki this is an area for you to give them some information a little bit about yourself and about your professional about your professional life and anything that you think is relevant to the job. So this was all about for two days video. I hope it should be helpful for all of you guys. So um, if you have any questions or queries for me or, or if you want to ask something to Adam, just leave it in your com- below in comments and I will try to answer all of your questions. And uh, if you want to get engaged with Adam, uh, I'm going to leave the link below in description for uh, Adam's LinkedIn. You can connect with him on LinkedIn. You can contact him via the LinkedIn. His name is Adam Ahmed. It's A D U M and A H M E D Adam Ahmed. And you can connect with him on LinkedIn. And if you have any queries, you can uh, directly ask to him. Or if if he is busy somewhere, or um, uh, you can ask me or leave a comments and below in the videos, and we will try to answer your questions and thank you so much for your time i hope you, you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos so for the at the end i would like to thank adam for uh, his precious time and uh, it was a great and uh, informative video for my audience thank you yeah no th- thanks very much omer and i wish everyone the best in their interview preparation hope this video is, is useful and hopefully you can take something away from it definitely and um as i said i'm more than happy to help in any way that i can um just drop me a message or drop omer a message he can let me know not a problem at all and um i wish you all, all the best thank you thank you